I have been trying to start this video for like the last two hours and between getting tongue tied and the cat and the dog, it's just been a mess. So instead of the regular, just five, five things in DaVinci Resolve Studio that make it worth the upgrade. Let's, let's get started. I know that I've said over and over and over and over again that you can do everything that you really need to do for a video in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. And I still stand by that. I mean, I've edited an entire episode of a TV show in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. But that being said, there are there's quite a few features in DaVinci Resolve Studio that can really help your workflow and really up the quality of the video that you can put out. And there's five that I want to show you today. The first being lens correction. If you shoot on a really wide lens, you'll notice that there might be some warping on the edges of your video, maybe a little bit of vignetting, stuff like that. What lens correction does is it detects the lens that you used to make your video and it will actually correct that that stuff, which is super, super cool, especially since I shoot most of these videos on a 10 millimeter lens. So it really, it helps me out a lot. And if for some reason DaVinci Resolve can't detect the lens that you used, you can actually just manually adjust everything and get the look that you want in your video, which is super helpful. And you can do it all from the edit page, which is even better. Next, let's talk about effects. If you go into the color page in DaVinci Resolve, you click on open effects and you see that big long list of effects well, most of them aren't available in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. If you drag them onto your footage, onto a node in the color page, you'll get a message saying that you've reached the limit of what you can do in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. You'll have a big fat watermark in the middle of your video and it's just, it's an unusable effect. Well, all of those get unlocked in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve. And there's a bunch of stuff that you could do. I could probably make an hour long video on all those effects, but my, my top two favorites so far have been color space transform and object removal. Color space transform literally takes the footage from one camera and makes it look like it was shot on another camera, which is really, really cool. I've actually experimented with changing this over the footage from this camera over to, let's say the Canon Cine color space. And it actually works really, really well. I enjoy it. Object removal is a lot like content aware fill in the Adobe products where you can, you know, mask out a product and completely remove it from a clip and it just replaces it with the background, which is really, really nice. It's like it was never there. It's it's like magic. I'll be doing a full tutorial on that one of these days, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. The next feature that I was really, really excited about was noise reduction. Not audio noise reduction, but video noise reduction. And this is something that I showed you how to do it in the free version in the Fusion page, but the color page has a noise reduction tool that is absolutely amazing and it's super easy to use and there's a lot that you can do with it you can even like desaturate the existing noise to make it look more like film grain there's just there's a lot to do it's super powerful really easy to use and uh and that alone honestly like if i had to choose one feature that made it worth the upgrade noise reduction Oh my God. All right, real quick before jumping into the next feature, do you guys remember when I put out that video where I up my footage from 1080p to 4K and I had to like export it from DaVinci Resolve and bring it into Adobe Media Encoder and do a whole bunch of weird settings just so it would look semi-decent? Well, I don't have to do that anymore because of this next feature. It's called Super Scale and it allows me to up my footage up to four times the original resolution without losing any quality. Yes, lossless upscaling. Holy crap. I mean, I've actually been doing this for the last handful of videos. Everything that I shoot is in 1080, but I upload it in 4K and it's not just a simple upscale. I'm using the super scale feature so it actually becomes 4K footage, which is just... It just blows my mind that technology can do this nowadays. And speaking of resolutions, the fifth feature that I want to go over is just the amount of resolutions that you can export at in DaVinci Resolve Studio. In the free version of DaVinci Resolve Studio, the highest resolution you can export at is Ultra HD. But with DaVinci Resolve Studio, you can actually export up to 8 
8K. So if you want to export an 8K video, you can do that. Now, these are just five features that I use on a regular basis that made it completely worth it for me to upgrade from the free version of DaVinci Resolve to DaVinci Resolve Studio. I'll link to a website in the description that'll show you a full feature comparison between the free version and DaVinci Resolve Studio. Also, keep in mind a lot of these effects and a lot of these features, especially things like noise reduction and super scale, they're pretty, they're pretty resource intensive when it comes to your computer. So you wanna make sure that you are working with, at the bare minimum, the system requirements to run DaVinci Resolve. If you wanna know what those are and what the system specs of my computer are, make sure you check out this video right here. And for more videos on how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.